Hello friends. Now I'm going to start next discussion on high voltage engineering. Today's topic is properties of composite and solid dielectrics in practice. Let us discuss the properties of solid dielectrics first. So the first point related to this solid dielectrics all of you know the definition dielectric means insulating material and solid dielectric is one of the medium which is used in many of the electrical applications like cables, capacitors, transformers, circuit breakers, etc. This is the unit which is used in all the kinds of electrical circuits. Whenever there is need to separate the one life part with the other life parts. So there is need to have a solid insulating material. So this purpose is being solved. Now, the dielectric is to be good, or we can say that dielectric is best suitable for the purpose. When we say dielectric loss is low, when it has a high mechanical strength, when that particular solid insulating material is free from the gases or maybe air or gas pockets because many a times air and gas pockets reduces the strength which we already discussed in one of the lecture. Then it must be free from moisture contents. This moisture presence in case of solid insulating material uh, reduces the strength and even reduces the properties that is electrical and mechanical and overall breakdown strength get reduced. So that must be free from the moisture contents. The material which we prefer definitely is an electrical material and the appliance is electrical appliance or a circuit is electrical circuit. So when a voltage is applied, current passes through the circuit and this current increases the temperature or the heat. So whatever the solid insulating material we are using, it must be resistance to that thermal change or the heat change. Whenever that finds the flow of current, the increase in temperature or heat develops the chemical or gives the chemical reaction on the insulating material. So the material must be resistance to that chemical deterioration. These are the six properties which are best suitable based on which the property can be selected. So this solid dielectrics is very importantly have the higher breakdown strength as compared to the liquids and gases. Then when a breakdown occurs, here, the important point which is to be mentioned here that solids get permanently damaged, whereas the gases get fully damaged. And the advantage of using liquid is it partly recover their dielectric strength after the applied electric field is removed. So whenever we find a solid dielectric is used, that get permanently damaged and there is need to replace that material with the other new material. Now let us discuss the properties of composite dielectric. First of all, what is the definition of composite dielectric? The composite dielectric means the different layers which are arranged one on the other that is called as a composite dielectric. Those layers let us consider let us consider one solid insulating paper if another solid insulating paper is placed above it so it becomes the two layers of solid insulating material when one is placed on the other that finds the composite dielectric so this dielectric may be same or different. That may be same or different. 
that completely depends on the application of the composite application of the electrical device where that composite dielectric is uh, required so it completely depends on the application like in transformer generally conductors are surrounded by the paper and that is immersed in the oil so it means there are two dielectrics which are used one is paper and another is oil so it is not compulsory that there should be a same dielectric there may be the different dielectric and that completely depends on the electrical application this composite dielectrics are required in many of the cases like cables capacitors transformers etc there are certain properties that must be understood like the multiple layers layer thickness and the interfaces and their effects so let us start with the first multiple layer to understand this multiple layer i am considering simple example where we have a conductor this conductor is having a insulation maybe say pvc or rubber insulation above it above the insulation there is a sheet provided so that there won't be any mechanical damage on the insulation as well as on the conductor and then again the second layer of insulation is provided so this is called as a multiple layer the simplest composite dielectric consists of two layers of same material in this particular case the material which is used is same advantage is taken off the fact that two thin sheets have a higher dielectric strength so like if we are using one paper then it has a certain level of dielectric strength that dielectric strength is given by the equation breakdown voltage to the gap but if one more layer of the same dielectric is used the width get increased so if we can say or in other words the thickness can get increased so increase in thickness increases the value of the breakdown voltage and hence the breakdown strength the advantage of using this particularly it is significant in case of materials having wide variation in dielectric strength values measured at different points on its surface so the values that can be measured on different surfaces so that value may be measured here of the breakdown strength may be here on the insulating material so at any point of the surface at any point of the surface the value of the breakdown strength that can be measured so increase in layer definitely will take the more space but at the same time will increase the width and hence the breakdown strength of the insulating material so this is the effect of using multiple layer second let us consider the same only thing is now that conductor is having a first layer of insulation of high layer that is the thickness of that layer is more even the second layer so when we have the higher thickness now let the thickness be written as t so increase in layer thickness normally gives increased in breakdown strength so we can say that the breakdown strength is directly proportional to the thickness in a layered construction let us consider this is your layered construction where there may be say uh, multiple layers which are placed here maybe 1 2 3 4 and so on depends on the voltage for which it is going to be used so we have a multiple layer thickness which is used here so that the composite layer thickness can get increased now in this layered construction the breakdown channels occur 
at the interfaces at the interfaces means where it is joined right where it is it can be separated out so this can form the channels at the interfaces only and not directly through the another layer that cannot penetrate through this particular layer with where it can form the channels at the interfaces like here that interface is there here that interface is there so it can form that the channels at the interfaces but cannot through the another layer also a discharge having penetrated one layer if a discharge occurred and it is penetrating through one of the layer then will reach to this particular interface will not enter into the another layer or it will not penetrate through the another layer of the insulation this also discharge having penetrated one layer cannot enter into the next layer until a part of that interface also attains the potential which can produce an electric field stress electric field stress comparable to that of the discharge channel so we get this interface and or the penetration of the breakdown on one layer will not enter into the other but if it is attained to that particular electric field and the potential then that may enter into the another layer also so the use of layered construction is very important in case of insulating paper since the paper thickness itself varies from point to point and consequently the dielectric strength across its surface is not homogeneous so to make the compact and homogeneous layer thickness there is need to increase the layers on one paper the difference in the thickness impart a rough surface to the paper which can produce an electric field stress comparable to that of the discharge channel the rough surface of the paper also helps in better impregnation when tightly wound so when all the layers are tightly wound the formation of the discharges into it becomes less on the other hand the existence of the area with lower thickness in the paper can cause breakdown at these points at considerably lower voltages so there is need to have investigations on this composite dielectrics so that the many things many uh, research can come out from this level layer thickness then third point is the interface what is interface interface is basically the gap between or the one layer when put it on the another one layer is put on another that is called as interface so this interface between two dielectric surfaces in a composite dielectric system plays an important role in determining its breakdown pre breakdown and breakdown strength discharge usually occurs at the interfaces and the magnitude of the discharge depends on the associated surface resistance and capacitance so when one layer is placed on the other layer on the other layer the interfaces which are formed the interfaces which are formed that plays an important role this can be made as compact as possible so that the chances of formation of the breakdown at the interfaces or the formation of the channels at the interfaces can be lowered down so discharges usually occur at the interfaces and the magnitude of the discharge depends on the associated surface resistance and capacitance that is resistance and the capacitance so resistance why because resistance of the insulation which we are using if the paper is used or if the some other material say cardboard is used or insulating tape is used cardboard is used insulating tape is used then the resistance varies with respect to that 
capacitor this is nothing but the charges which are formed between the two electrodes like the electrode acts as a capacitor where the layer of this insulating material is placed so this insulating material between the contacts of the electrodes offers the capacitor so when the surface conductivity increases the discharge magnitude also increases and resulting in damage to the dielectric so this is very very important when we say that the conductivity as we already said in previous lectures when the conductivity increases that is opposition to the resistivity so when this conductivity increases the discharge magnitude also increases and that damage that particular dielectric material so in a composite dielectric it's essential to maintain the low dielectric loss this is very very important the dielectric loss must be low so that the normal voltage at which or the normal electric stress at which it can operate however in an initial pure dielectric liquid when used under industrial conditions for impregnating the solid dielectrics the impurities arise and resulting in increased dielectric losses so definitely that cannot be controlled so the effect of this various impurities in causing the breakdown of composite dielectrics will be discussed in next sections so this is all about the properties of the solid and composite dielectrics thank you